Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. This week we will be doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing and this box is coming from Greenville, North Carolina. I haven't gotten from Greenville in a little while so I am excited to open this up. <laughs> some awesome costume pieces. I'm liking all the color in here this week. We'll go ahead and dig in. And if you guys notice, my voice is a little bit raspy. I did lose my voice this week, so we're just gonna go with the flow. Okay, so first piece is going to be this lovely costume silver toned pendant necklace. I like all this sparkle on here today. I like the chain. The chain looks in good condition. It is magnetic. So what that means is it is not going to be a precious metal. So it won't be sterling silver. Next is going to be this, looks like some like plastic beads with the, like the copper toned chain. I like this, it's kind of giving me like a mid-century look. And the beadwork is pretty good. Looks like we have like a vintage looking costume. And it looks pretty beat up, so I'm gonna put this in a lot box. Okay, it looks like we might have like a broken layered necklace. I'm gonna put this one in a lot. I do like that teal aqua colored stone going on there. And thank you all for all the follows on my new Facebook page. I would love if you guys could check that out. Okay, another lovely vintage looking costume piece. I will do this one for $2. Oh, I love the little sea turtle and all the little sea stars. All right, so that's Premier Designs. This is a nice Premier Design necklace. Costume jewelry, I'm sure it's magnetic. Does have a little magnetic pull to it. And I will do this one for $5. Lovely little pendant. Costume piece. We will be having our February giveaway coming up next week, so you guys be sure to keep a lookout for that. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time untangling this. It looks like a jumble of costume pieces. It looks fairly worn, so we're just going to go ahead and put that in a lot box. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. Kind of looks like it's like almost in a heart shape. Looks like we have a marking. All right, looks like there's like a triangle with a line and then it says 120th, 14 karat gold filled. So that's gonna be a pretty resellable necklace. I love that. Gorgeous little purple, that little stone in there. Let's test it. Oops. All right, looks like we're reading nicely in that glass range. Let's check the tiny stone. All right, not much of a reading on that one. This is gorgeous. 
have to get that knot out. Very dainty chain. Lovely piece. I do offer my subscribers bundle deals. So if you buy two or more items, I will offer you 20% off. I always appreciate all of your guys' love and support and the knowledge you guys share on this channel. And if you have any information on a piece, I would love if you could leave a comment. I always strive to share knowledge on here with you guys. And I love when you guys return the favor. All right, Mama Bear necklace. These were pretty popular a couple years ago. And definitely still a nice resellable item. I will do this one for $5. Another beaded necklace. I'm going to put this one in a lot. Vintage looking necklace. Just that metalwork and the bead um, is giving me... A vintage look. This is kind of cool too. It all clips together right here. So it's all, you know, clipped together with that pendant. So I guess you could technically take the pendant off if you wanted. I like it with the pendant though. All these beaded necklaces get tangled up super easily, but I like to think of myself as a pro untangler these days. Another Premier Designs. I'm going to put that one in a lot. Right, let's look at this chain I saw earlier. Let's check it with a magnet. It is magnetic. It looks like some of that gold is wearing off, that gold plating on there. And I don't think I see any marks. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. Oh, another shiny costume piece. And I say this is costume because of the metalwork on the back. You can tell it's not very high end. It looks like it came out of a mold. And no markings on that. Still very lovely and definitely something I can resell. I will do this one for $8. The chain looks pretty nice on there. Oops. And it looks like we've got a broken one, so I'm going to be careful trying not to get those beads everywhere. Looks like some nice pearls in there. Let's see. And some turquoise 925 on that clasp as well. What a shame. Looks like maybe some turquoise in there. And these pearls look really pretty, so let's see. We had Dr. Lori on a couple weeks ago. I loved all the information she shared with us. And she shared about looking inside the pearl to see if it is real. And these look real to me. I'm also going to do a little scratch test. So yeah, those are some real pearls. They have a little bit of grit to them. They look really nice. So that is such a shame that that's broken. I'm going to try and collect the beads and see if it's salvageable. It's got a really nice, you know, silver clasp on it as well. So we'll put this to the side, see if I can mend it. If you're new to reselling jewelry, I would highly recommend you getting a jewelry kit where you can fix those pieces. Okay, we have a tasseled earring our first earring of the day here's our second another costume piece i'm going to put that in the single earring spot daisy fuentes i don't think i've heard of that one before i'll have to look that up i see new brands almost every time i do an unboxing so i always appreciate you guys sharing your knowledge with us about these brands and giving us you know an estimate on cost it helps us all with reselling i'm 
lots and lots of beads today. I'm going to put this one in a lot. I'm also going to put this blue one in a lot. Nice beads and definitely nice for people that are looking for those lot boxes, doing some of that bead work. That's a broken class, so I'm going to put that one in a lot. It says blessed. No other markings. I like the arrows and little copper tones. It looks like it's got a, a scripture passage on there. Another handful. Oh, look at this shell necklace. I love the thicker shell necklaces. You know, we grew up with the hookah shells, which are always awesome. But this thicker one is really cool. All right, looks like we're just a class that's just going to slip through that infinity. I like that a lot. Really cool. It's got some good weight to it. It's definitely going to be like a choker collarbone style necklace, which is right up my alley. I like the tighter necklaces. All right, let's check this for a magnet. Hmm. All right, I feel a little pull there, so I'm gonna put that in the lot pile. Oh, I love the shells on this one. Look at those shells are so shiny. Lots of sparkle in this one. I will do this one for $5. I'm gonna put that in a lot. Looks like it's missing some stones. Got some wear on it as well. I like. Oh, I like this one. Nice statement necklace. Maybe with some earth stones. I'm thinking maybe some amethyst in here. Amethyst. Almost these greenish colored reading glass. Reading glass too. So you can see kind of the white mark inside of there compared to the amethyst. It's kind of that purple all the way through. And we're missing a clasp. But that's okay, something that's easily fixable. I'd probably do a T-clasp on there. Lovely necklace, got these pretty earth stones. I think maybe this was quartz. What was that reading on there? Let me check again. Okay, still kind of in that glass range. Let me check for, okay. Sometimes I can Google image search more unique necklaces like this. So I will try and Google search this one. It's fairly unique. So we'll test it out and see. Beautiful necklace. Loving all the colors. Very vibrant. Let's see if I can get that one fixed. All right, this is going to go into a lot. Fashion earrings, looks like with some gold plating, kind of giving me like a boho vibe. Or like a Thailand look. I'll do these for $5. All right, that's pretty beat up. We'll put that in the earring pile. All right, Coro. My voice is so cracky today. I apologize, you guys. I'm doing the best I can. All right, so Coro, looks like we're missing some stones. We're broken. Unfortunately, Coro is a nice resellable vintage brand, but I will put that in a lot this time. All right. I had one of these clasped in my last box. I can't remember. I want to say maybe it's like J. Crew or something like that um, brand. I don't see any marks for J. Crew on here. The metal is slightly worn. You can see kind of that rainbow look. 
And it looks like we're missing some stones. So this is gonna go in a lot. This is cool. The metal's a little bit worn again, so unfortunately I will be putting that one in a lot. I like this. Leah Sophia, of course. Gotta love Leah Sophia. I don't know if we're missing a piece or if this goes, maybe that's supposed to go up here. I'm not really sure. So it doesn't have it on the other side. Loving the earthy tones. I will do this one for $5. All right, this looks like glass, of course, but the blue coating on it looks like it's wearing off. Kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that, but eventually that would wear away. So I'm going to debate on if I keep this or not. Maybe I just clean up all the blue off of there. I kind of like the look, but it would wear off. So, hmm. Not too sure what I want to do with that one. Monet. Yeah, Monet. Gorgeous Monet. Love those vintage brands. All of these are really, really great for reselling. If you're just getting into reselling, definitely into the Napier, Monet, any of those are very easy for resell. And I like the design on here. I want to say I usually sell chunkier necklaces like this from Monet um, for maybe like, like $20 to $30. So that's awesome. This will definitely help pay for the box. It looks like we have some earrings in here. And some necklaces. I love hearing from all of you guys on Facebook. It's so fun to be on Facebook again. I haven't been on there for years and I have been enjoying seeing all of you guys on there and showing you guys some more of my treasures. Alrighty, so another earring. Looks like maybe we found the match. There we go. Looks like maybe it's missing. They're both missing some pieces. So I'm gonna put those in the earring pile. I love the little chandelier. This is giving me like a Claire's or an Avon. Yep, Avon. Look, loving the purple. Looks like it's missing a couple stones maybe. Maybe those are just clear stones. Okay, maybe they're just clear. Again, if you're interested in any of these pieces, be sure to check the description below where you can find my email. You'll also see links to my Etsy, my Poshmark shops. I will be doing some of those changes when it comes to checking out. I will be going through Poshmark and Etsy. Solacast for Mark. Hmm. I have to look this one up. Looks like just some costume to me though. It's not screaming any, you know, gold on there. Just some plated metal. All right, looks like I'm gonna put all of these in a lot. They're all tangled up together. Not in the best condition. They are, we're gonna try and get this pendant out. This is giving me like a little bit of Tennessee look. 
some of this um, more costume jewelry. I will take the name brands though. Of course, that Monet and a couple of those other ones were great finds so far. All right, give me that amethyst look and the KR. Not sure of that brand. Ooh, I like this with the little baby pearls and the dyed shell. Not seeing any markings on it, but I do like these little baby pearls. Those blue hues, blue and purple in the shells. So I will do this one for $5. All right, this one is going to go in a lot. I'm not a huge fan of those wire necklaces. They just get tangled up really easily. So I don't mind the style. It's more or less just my patience. <laughs> All right, this is not magnetic. But it looks like some plating of some sort going on on that metal. I like the pendant. I'm giving me a silver look, but it looks like it's going to be magnetic, so we're going to put that in a lot. It is broken as well. All right, we got the wire wrapped, hammered, crosses. I've sold a handful of these, and I will do this one for $5. I hope you guys can check out my shorts videos. I will be back next week with my new shorts video, thrifting with my husband and a, one of my little guys. And I love doing those thrifting adventures with my family. And I hope you guys enjoy them too. I like that rainbow bead look. I had something very similar in my last box with Dr. Lori. Except it was a palm tree. So it says MT. These things I can usually Google image search and find out who the maker is so i'll do a little bit of research on that one all right all right that's going to go on a lot oh this is really pretty looks like we have a broken clasp maybe got some gold tone going on it's not magnetic this is kind of giving me like a coral look. I'm looking inside of that drill mark just to see if there's any white or discoloration on the inside. And it looks like it's got that coral look all the way through. Kind of those markings on there too is really giving me a coral look. And coral can be pretty expensive. I'm talking maybe, you know, for a strand like this, it can easily go for like $100. So if that is genuine coral, coral let me go ahead and check and see if there's any markings on that clasp. I don't think I saw any, but let's check. All right, don't see any markings. It looks like good quality, so let's get our acid out. It's been a little while since I've pulled my acid out with you guys, so if you're new to thrifting, be sure to get some acid kits so that you guys can easily test your gold and your silver. I always try and test these before I put them out for sale. I'm just gonna give it a good scratch on there. I'll give two spots, one with the clasp, you know, the O-ring and then with the sphere there. Let's test it with the 14 karat. Be careful, use gloves. Make sure not to touch that acid. All right, it's doing pretty good on that 14 karat. Not seeing it going away with that one. Let's try the 18 karat. I'm gonna try it on this one over here. All right, went away pretty quickly with that one. 
So you can see it's still there with the 14, but it's gone with the 18. So we're going to go with that 14 karat gold on there. So I want to say if it's got that gold class and, um, you know, some really good looking drills there. I'm going to say maybe this really is coral. You guys let me know. How do you guys test your coral? Let's do it on the Presidium. It's kind of like turquoise. It shouldn't give much of a reading. And yeah, I'm not seeing, seeing it move there. Okay. So that's an awesome find if it is indeed coral. Of course, with the gold too. That is great. I'll do some more research on that one and see what we can find. All right, we're already down to the bottom here. Oh, it looks like... Oh, look, so we've got some... We've got a gold class down here, and look at this little ball. It really looks like it matches the other one. We'll just check and see. I don't think I see any markings on that. That ball looks like it matches. Let me get my loop out. I don't see any markings on here. Hmm. I'll have to do some testing on this one as well. Let's see. This definitely looks like it matches that. This does look like a little bit off colored on there. So I'm not sure if that goes with it, but this one definitely looks like it matches. So I'm gonna set that to the side. And I'll do some testing on this. Let's see if it's magnetic. Okay, that one is magnetic and it doesn't really, like I said, it doesn't really match that other tone. All right, next is gonna be Looks like a bent hoop. No markings on there. Napier on that one. Giving me a vintage look. Premier Designs. We're getting a lot of Premier today, but good quality Premier. Sometimes I don't um, resell Premier just because um, it can be kind of lower quality and not the best like plating on there. But the last couple that we've seen from here are pretty good quality. So I will resell these and I will do this one for $5. Lovely brooch. All right, Kramer, that's gonna be another vintage brand and one that I would sell. I feel like there are some wear marks on here. I'm not sure, I'll have to look this up and see, but it does look like it's a little bit of wear, a little bit of scuffs on that brooch. I want to say Kramer usually goes between, you know, $20 and $30. So let's hope I can still resell that one. All right, another Napier bracelet. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Lovely bracelet. Really like the design on there. That metalwork is really cool. Kind of like a hinged look. I will do this one for $10. All right, we got the costume necklace, it looks like to me. We'll pull it out and see, though. Yeah, we're going to put that one in a lot. Large hoop earrings. Look pretty beat up to me. Ooh, some pearls, maybe. Okay, Carol Lee. All right, these are giving me a costume look. Kind of see that coating. It's very well beaded. Very nicely strung pearls. Yeah, no grit on there. You can kind of see where it has like a little bit of a coating. 
on there. Each one of these are knotted in between those, so that's really nice. And I want to say Carol Lee, I usually sell them between maybe, you know, $15 and $30, just depending on the necklace and what year. Beautiful costume piece, though. All right, I actually have an identical necklace to this. that premiere premiere designs huh I wonder if I can hold on I want to say what does this Napier or yeah Napier this is a gorgeous Napier but look at that knockoff almost identical to my Napier love this piece this is a gorgeous vintage Napier piece and this is the not so great quality Premier Design so I love that piece it's one of my favorite gold chain it actually has a matching bracelet but I don't have it I found it in a Goodwill blue box all right Premier that was a pretty good knockoff it's definitely got some of that coating is coming off that gold plating is coming off so that gold plating is coming off and I will do this one for $5. Napier's definitely got that better quality costume look. I'm gonna put that in a lot. Those costume pearls. Ooh, this is interesting. What is this? Hmm. Okay, I am not sure what this is. Is this like a doorknob? Huh. I have no idea what this is. Very interesting. Let me know if you guys know what this is. All right, gold chain necklace. And the last. going to be this costume piece no name brand the metal looks fairly decent the clasp doesn't look great it's got a little bit of wear on it but all the stones and beads are there and all right guys so that will do it for this week I will do some research you guys let me know what you guys think about this coral necklace really awesome find if so if it is real lovely Napier and vintage pieces this week. I always appreciate you guys' knowledge that you guys share on this channel. Please leave me a comment and be sure to check out my Facebook page. And until next time.